That's right. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world. God damn, cryptocurrency. That's right. Sorry, I was just typing something. So we have a brand new platform to have a look at today. This is an expansion of an ecosystem which I've been using for a very long time. It has been one of my passive income plays, and it continues to pay out passive income. It's, it's a great, great dap. It's called Bomb Money, and we're going to be talking today about CZ Pegs. It is going right now through the Genesis period. It is a tomb fork, but with a whole of a lot more going on than meets the eye. So how about we just get straight into it all, because time is money, and money is time. So this is CZ Pegs, right? And this is Bomb Money, right? CZ Pegs. Bomb Money. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So... Looking first at bomb money, right? We do see a huge uh, decline in the TVL of bomb today because the genesis period for CZ pegs is running right now. Uh, bomb money have created CZ pegs as a way of giving extra utility to the bomb token, the B share token, and for now the B bomb token, and also the X bomb token, right? So for example, X bomb staking, right? I did have some X bomb in here. I took it out and I've put it into the CZ pegs genesis farming. I did have some BNB, I put that in. I did have some um, other tokens, I put it in too, right? Why not? So CZ Pegs, at the moment, is going through a Genesis phase. What is a Genesis phase? At the beginning of a Forks life, of a Tomb Forks life, you need to have a Genesis phase, which basically means for us that we go to the farm section, we go here to Genesis Farms, we will put in our assets. For this one, there's a 1% deposit fee. There's still about 12 hours left of Genesis, I've been in from since the very, very get-go, right? But in this Genesis, unlike any other Genesis that I've ever seen, we're actually farming for three tokens. We're farming to earn CZ BMB, CZ Bomb, and CZ EMP. EMP is a token which is pegged to the price of Ethereum. Um, so CZ EMP will be pegged to the price of EMP, which is pegged to the price of Ethereum. <laughs> Think back to like something like based finance on the Phantom Chain, that is a token which is pegged to the price of Tomb. Uh, it's generally like it's had a bit of a tough time recently because of the, the the market, but but based was really on peg for a long long time. Yeah, so this will be based right here, which is pegged to the price of tomb. As you can see, it's directly on peg today. It should be one point zero one though for the boardroom to print. If you don't know anything about tomb or tomb forks, then you're you're shit out of luck because I'm going to be going pretty deep dive <laughs> into how this one's working today. Um, so because we have these three tokens to farm for, which means that we're going to have essentially three boardrooms as opposed to one traditional boardroom because if we come here to boardroom we're going to see yeah we have a cz bnb boardroom cz bnb is pegged to the price of bnb one to one we have cz bomb pegged to the price of bomb one to one um and we have cz emp pegged to the price of emp one to one and we'll be able to go into here once it's open not open yet we're still in genesis still very early right uh we'll be able to take for example i'm farming for cz bnb put it in here when CZ BNB is above peg, we'll be able to print out this CZ um, share token. They all make this share token. And this is what we want. This is the real money maker here. The share token is fantastic. So what is CZ pegs? First, before we get deep diving into what exactly it is, I want to firstly just show you the, the what we can do right now to make money, okay? Uh, this is the Genesis Farms. They started Wednesday, 25th of May at 6 p.m. UTC, which for me was 12 hours ago. We have another 12 hours, I believe. We'll have to double check that on this where we can take any of these assets, a whole load of assets, and we can farm for three tokens. So we can choose which ones we want to acquire essentially. So I decided I wanted them all. So I went in first for CZ BNB with some rat BNB token. As you can see, I've put in just, I was at the time was 30 grand. Of course, the market has gone down slightly. So now it's 28.7 grand. I'm tracking it right here. Let me just check on this sheet. Yeah, I did 30,000 of rat BNB. 2000 BUSD, $777 of bomb, right? In here, so this is so far has earned me 2.7 CZ BNB token. 
which is $600. In there, I went for bomb to get some CC bomb with my bomb token, earned $13 so far. And then I went in for, uh, with a bit of a, a safer bet, I went in for a stable coin for the CZ EMP with 2000 here and I've earned $62 here. So that's what's going on right there. Some points of note for when this does open, we will be going into the farm section and we have these four pairs here that we will be farming with from tomorrow. CZ BNB and BNB. So I'll have to take the token that I've earned. There's a 1% fee going into the Genesis staking, so I'll take that out, put my pair back where it is. Okay, safety. Uh, I'll take my CZMB, CZ BNB, pair BNB, I'll farm, right? There is no fee for going into this, right? In, then you will earn the CZ share token, depending on how much it's worth. From the first day of a Tomb Fork, it's always the highest APRs, right? Then you can also go into CZ Bomb with Bomb. So again, I'll take my CZ Bomb, I'll take my Bomb, I will pair them up, I'll put them in here. No deposit fee for this, and I will earn more CZ share. Uh, third pool, CZ EMP and EMP. I might go into this, but I'm not a holder of EMP token at the moment. Uh, I might have to buy some to do it if I decide to. And the last one is CZ Share BNB. You earn CZ Share from the uh, farm section, so you would be earning the CZ Share or buying it pairing with BNB, throwing in here. Then we earn from all these four pools, CZ share, we would then go into the boardroom and decide which uh, token we want to earn. We can earn CZ BNB, CZ bomb or CZ EMP. So for example, CZ BNB, I would put my uh, share token, CZ share in here and pay a 2% deposit fee. Never seen this before, good idea. Then I will earn CZ BNB token, which is pegged BNB, if we're above peg. Peg is different on this as well. Usually on a Tomb Fork, Peg is 1.01, .01, but Peg on CZ Pegs is 1.001. .001. So the Peg is even closer to the price of the native asset, which I think is a good move. Means more time on Peg, in theory, right? When you want to withdraw your token here, there's a 2% withdrawal fee too. We can check where that fee goes a little bit later on. The other point I want to point out is we take the three tokens, these, right? When they are under peg, right? So for example, CZ BNB is under peg right now. CZ Bomb is over peg. CZ EMP is under peg. So these two tokens, there is a tax on selling it. I think the tax is about 15%. We'll check that too. Half of the tax goes to the treasury, which will then help us, you know, mint more. It's paying us, you know, when we're staking in the boardroom, we're earning more of this token. So we help paying that. And the other half is burned, burned forever burned out of existence. When we burn tokens, generally it will help push the token back up, yeah, above peg. So 1.001 .001 is the peg, currently this one is above peg, right? This one is not, it's well below peg. So that's what's happening. Let's get into the docs and check out some other things. They do have some other things coming up. They have the auto compounders coming up and they also, they, I don't see the bond token here yet. I guess it will be available quite soon though. On the in the docs, the thing I want to check out the most is firstly the welcome uh, for the introduction, right? Why? Why did they make this? What's the point, right? What's the point in making another one? CZ Pegs is based on the work of an accumulation of tomb finance forks over the last few months. The project is run and led by the docs team at Bomb Money, led by CEO Aaron Shames. I've met Aaron Shames online before. I've interviewed him on my channel. He's a nice guy. I like Aaron because one, he's hardworking. Two, he's innovative. Three, he always tries to do what's best for the platform. Four, he's doxxed. Yeah, you, you know who he is, you know what he looks like. And five, he's always on Telegram, <laughs> which is good because you can always fetch him, right? So he decided uh, he would take the best parts from all of the Tomb Forks and combine them into one polished final product. These extra additions will serve as a foundation for Bomb and EMP, providing constant buy pressure as well as offering high yield to BNB enthusiasts all around DeFi. As far as networks go, the BSC is perfect because of the low gas, because bomb's already there, because EMP's already there and it has a huge user base. It will not be possible without Tomb Finance. Of course, they always say thanks to Tomb on these. Uh, it's like a, you know, you, mu you must do it on a Tomb fork. You got to thank Tomb. So we've already gone over the tokens and how they work and how the, yet yeah, the peg is 1.001. .001. Okay. When CZ bomb drops below the peg of one, there is a tax and we are going to have a look what it is. So after taking inspiration from other forks out there, we've settled on an adjustable sell burn fee, which 
for selling the PEG tokens, the three of them. This has been added for a couple of reasons. Firstly, to put emphasis on the way to take profits is by selling the share token, not by selling the PEG token. Good. In an ideal world, we want to set uh, to limit sales on the main token. This will keep them above PEG long term, creating a healthy protocol. The longer that these tokens are above PEG, the more that we will print cash, right? Secondly, by adding tax burn fee to sell under PEG, this encourages users to wait until over PEG so they can redeem the full dollar amount of their tokens are worth. So the fees are, yeah, 15%. 7.5% burn, 7.5% fee sent to the treasury. What if only one token is under PEG? In this instance, only the token below PEG has a sell or burn fee. The other two will be sold without any fee, burn, or anything happening to it. So that's that one. And if we go into the boardroom, I just want to see what that tax is for. It says here the 2% in and out fee is used to support CZ PEGs and bomb. It's a little bit vague, but that's what that's what it's for. So we can find out more about that later on, I guess. Here is my overview of CZ PEGs, the new expansion of the bomb ecosystem in you know alliance with EMP. They will have the auto compounders, the bond token, and the eventual release of bomb chain. Bomb chain, which will use bomb as the native gas paying token a little bit later on. Uh, that's near the end of the year. I believe the boardroom will be released very soon and the auto compounders within one or two weeks. So, without further ado, get into it, research it yourself. This is not financial advice. This is Crypto Mischief signing off. Don't get wrecked. That's right. Tell me, tell me how you do it.